Hey gamers, if you've ever tried to create a symbolic link in Windows and ran into the error, cannot create a file when that file already exists, you're not alone. In this video, I'll show you exactly why this happens and how to fix it. Right now, I have two folders, one in my Documents Electronic Arts, another in my S drive, Game Data Electronic Arts. I wanna move my Electronic Arts folder from my documents to my external drive and create a symbolic link so my game still thinks it's in the original location. So I'll go ahead and open up command prompt as administrator and run the following command. And here's the problem. Windows returns the error, cannot create a file when that file already exists. At first glance, this error message is misleading because we aren't working with a file at all. We're working with a folder. But this happens because mklink is a dated command that treats all symbolic links as files in its output, even when we're dealing with directories. Working with EA support and their forums can be a bit of a gamble and you might get help or you might not and if you play with mods like i do you're not even officially supported that's why i offer a dedicated service where i take care of all the heavy lifting for you through remote sessions i work directly with you to solve your sims 4 issues whether it's fixing a game that won't load moving your game or save files to another drive troubleshooting mods or tackling any other technical issues with your game I handle all the hard work so you don't have to, making sure your game runs as smoothly as possible. Check out the description for more details on how to subscribe and get your Sims game fixed today. And by the way, this isn't just for Sims 4 players. If you're still enjoying the charm of The Sims 3, I can help you out there too. The real issue is that Windows won't let you create a symbolic link if a folder with the same name already exists in the target location. Right now, Electronic Arts exists in both my Documents and my S drive, so Windows refuses to overwrite it. The command isn't designed to merge or replace folders, it only creates a pointer to an existing one. To fix this, I first need to cut and paste the original folder from my Documents to the S drive. Once that's done, then I can rerun the command. This time, it works. Windows successfully creates the symbolic link because there's no existing folder in the original location. Now, when I go to the documents, I should see an electronic arts folder with a small shortcut icon. If I double click it, it opens into the electronic arts folder on my S drive, meaning the link is working. My game will still read the files from the original location, but the actual data will now be stored on the external drive. Let me know if this helps in the comments or if this is still confusing. I know that you guys have been having a little bit of trouble with this since we've been moving stuff all around for The Sims. Thanks for watching. One of Alex's Sims 4 customers learned the hard way why online security isn't optional. She downloaded mods using public Wi-Fi, and within days, her entire external drive, where she stored all of her Sims 4 saves, mods, and custom content, was completely white. Not a single file could be recovered, even with professional data recovery tools. When Alex checked her system, he found four Trojan viruses running in the background. What could have possibly gone wrong? This is exactly why gamers need a VPN with built-in threat protection. A service like NordVPN encrypts your connection, keeping hackers from stealing your data, and its threat protection blocks dangerous downloads before they can destroy your files. And right now, NordVPN is just $3.39 a month, with 72% off of their two-year plan, plus up to a year free. It's high speed, protects up to 10 devices, and could be the difference between keeping your files safe or losing everything. Avoid the nightmare before it starts. Check the link in the description and secure your connection today. Working with EA support and their forums can be a bit of a gamble, and you might get help or you might not. And if you play with mods like I do, you're not even officially supported. That's why I offer a dedicated service where I take care of all the heavy lifting for you. Through remote sessions, I work directly with you to solve your Sims 4 issues, whether it's fixing a game that won't load, moving your game or save files to another drive, troubleshooting mods, or tackling any other technical issues with your game. I handle all the hard work so you don't have to, making sure your game runs as smoothly as possible. Check out the description for more details on how to subscribe and get your Sims game fixed today. And by the way, this isn't just for Sims 4 players. If you're still enjoying the charm of The Sims 3, I can help you out there too.
For days, weeks, months, you've been sitting in silence, your screen frozen, your sims unplayed, your entire creativity paused. You've been waiting for a voice, a, a sign, a helping hand, but all you found is your own hope just fading away. I see you. I hear the silence that's been your only answer. And I'm not going to let that be the end of your story. With every unsolved problem, every unanswered question, I'm here to break the silence. I just want people to know they're not alone in this. Me and you, let's change that together. Let's turn the silence into stories. Let's turn the frustration into fun. And let's turn those problems into playtime. That's what I'm here for. I really just want to stop and take a moment to personally say thank you to everyone who's made it to the spot right here so far. You all are truly an incredible part of my journey here on the platform and I really just want to express my gratitude to each of you. Smack the like button if this video really helps you. Be sure to consider subscribing if this is the kind of content you're into and want to see more of. Again, thank you so much for being here. I just wanted to personally thank you for watching my video. If you found this video to be helpful so far, bang the like button so that this shows this crazy YouTube algorithm time worth watching for stuff like this. If you're on a smart TV or Apple TV, be sure to pop out your phone and scan this QR code to the right using your camera. Here, you'll see all of my videos on my page like move the Sims 4 to another drive with the EA app, as well as move your Sims 4 mods and saves to a new drive with this simple tutorial. Again, I just wanted to really thank you for being a viewer and to let you know there are great videos on the channel for those of you whose Sims 4 game and mods are getting a little bit too big for your computer. I genuinely love you all. Thank you for being a part of the channel. Until Til next, next time. time. Hey guys, check out this video that YouTube thinks is best for you, or check out my most recent video below it. Thanks for watching!